Okay, as parents start thinking about sending their kids back to school, you know, most of them want the kids to be focused on what they'll be learning and not on whether or not they'll have shoes on their feet. In the Images Shoes program offers free athletic shoes to elementary kids in Kent County. And you can help. Here with more, we got Beth Ann Egan. Hi, Beth Ann. Hi. Nice to see you again. Yeah. So, SHOES, S H O E S, this is an acronym. Yeah. Tell everybody what it stands for. Yes, SHOES Help Our Elementary Students. There you go. SHOES Help Our Elementary Students. So, exactly how do we do that and how long have you been doing that? Yeah, so this is the 26th year Holy that we will be kicking off SHOES. Wow. Yeah. 26 years of the SHOES program from In the Image. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about In the Image as mm -hmm. well and what you guys do, but let's hone in on what the need is here. What, what are we doing for these kids? Yeah, so um, kids are going back to school, right? right? Can we believe it? I but, know, I know. <laughs> but they need a ton of supplies, right? It's an expensive time of the year for parents, for families. Mm -hmm. They have to gear up, they have to get ready. And we want to take a little bit off their plate, right? Add some relief to them and provide a new pair of back to school shoes for them. So all they have to do is sign up, make sure the kids are there, and then the kids actually get to pick out their pair of shoes. That's kind of key. Yes. You know, that's, that's not new. That's what you've been doing. Correct. There are some new and exciting things happening mm -hmm. this, this year, but that is kind of key for a kid to be able to be not just handed a pair of shoes, but to go into the shop and say, hey, pick out the pair that you like. Yes, absolutely. They're sized properly. We make sure that the shoe actually fits for them, mm -hmm. that they like it. That's the, the big component for us as customer service. We want it to be an experience, not just here you go, take right. your shoes and, and keep going Absolutely. we want them to be excited to go to school and focus on learning then yeah and shoes aren't cheap no no man no, shoes they are is not. one of the biggest exp expenses when it comes to clothing for kids are, are the shoes so anything new yeah okay. so we have some exciting news so with everything going on the past few years right we've had covid we've had gas prices everything is increasing we have had a ton of phone calls throughout the years of parents needing help, schools needing help, and we haven't been able to always expand the program. We used to help 39 elementary schools, but this year we're blowing the doors wide open and saying anyone in Kent County who is in pre-kindergarten through fifth grade can sign up online. It's first come, first served, okay. but they can come in and get a pair of shoes that way. So if you are a family in need and you need pairs of shoes for your kids, all you have to do is sign up online. So it used to be about 40 schools. Now it's just Correct. open to anyone. Now, are there any type of, say, income requirements? Are there any hoops I have to jump through? Or is it just you sign up and first come, first serve? First come, first serve. We are asking that you truly need the shoes. Right. So think of it yourself, right? You decide. There are no barriers to this, and there's no judgment. So come on in, get a pair of shoes. If you need them, we'll get them for you. Well, no barriers and no judgment. A couple of phrases that I think are in line within the image. Can you tell yes. people what in the image does? Yeah, so in the image provides hope, dignity, and respect through the best shopping experience. Money does not have to buy. <laughs> and so- um, What a great we, tagline. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so it's really hope at no cost for us. We are, um, we've got a couple of different programs. So shoes is one of them, mm -hmm. and it's all about the customer service experience. We have our free store as well. So we're set up just like any other thrift store except we're missing one thing, and that's the cash register. So people who are um, struggling in life, going through a crisis, any kind of trauma, where they need items, they can come in and they can get a great customer service experience just like they would in any other store. We also take that free store out on the road and we pop up through our pop-up shop program. So we kind of uh, meet the need right where the need is in the community, breaking down transportation as a barrier as well, making sure that people can get what they're, they're in need of right now. Phenomenal, you guys are doing great work. You're doing mm -hmm. phenomenal Thank work. You. So when it comes to this being free, obviously you need to be funded, right? Yes, yes. So we definitely need help purchasing all of the shoes, making sure that everything looks nice in our free store. Shoes, the prices keep going up yeah, for do. us. Yeah. Um, and so we wanna make sure that we have tons of options for the kids to choose from. So if we're hoping to serve about 5,000 students, that means we need you know, six to 7,000 pairs of shoes in inventory, or at least that we're able to purchase. Um, so that costs a lot of money. We're completely community funded. Wow. So we need help purchasing shoes still. Um, we usually can get a good bulk price though. So okay. it, makes, um, it, it makes it really easy for us if you can make a financial donation. But then we're also looking for volunteers as well, people who can actually fit the kids for the shoes. We need a ton of volunteers this year if we're gonna open up to all of Kent County. 
and we also give away socks and school supplies as well. Holy moly. Yeah. Thank you for everything you guys are doing at In the Image. If you want to help out financially or with your time, uh, if, if you don't want to open up the pocketbook, how about a week and how about a couple of hours, right? You can register in the image.org slash shoes for those shoes. Of course, it's all happening August 8th through the 19th. Plenty of time to prepare for this. And it's all for Kent County Elementary students pre-K through fifth grade. We'll have all the information at fox17online.com as well. We'll be right back.